seems like old times. Dinner dates and flowers. There's a quip originally attributed to Zeppo Max. Hence, it's not very good. Anyway, and I'm paraphrasing. I would not want to be the member of any club that would have someone like Angelina Jolie as a member. What can I say about Angelina that hasn't already been said about Squeaky Fromm? I don't know what's wrong with me. I've, I've always been attracted to psychotic women. Louise Lassa once tried to re-circumcise me with a Great Dane. And then there's Mia. She's about as stable as Zelda Fitzgerald doing the Lombada in a canoe. I should have known there was going to be trouble with Angelina the first time we casually chatted over drinks. I can't stay long. I've, I've, I've got an appointment with my analyst. I've never seen a psychiatrist. Really? Mm. It, it doesn't show. <laughs> Although, I have thought about giving myself a lobotomy. <laughs> so, do you have any hobbies or um, activities or uh, special interests or anything? No, I'm pretty normal. <laughs> I just like to do the things normal people do. Me too. Uh, I'm what you'd call an, an average Joe. Uh, just a regular guy. No, I just like to stay home and bake cookies and knit. You know, bland stuff. Knitting, huh? That's terrific. Oh, what kind of things do you knit? I I'd love to hear all about your knitting. I find knitting to be endlessly fascinating. I just knit normal things like mm, mattresses and uh, services and carburetors. No weird stuff. <laughs> that sounds great. We're, we're just a couple of ordinary folks who, who in no way could be mistaken for sexual deviants. Doing. I'm trying to initiate the launch sequence. Get bed, half pint. You know I don't make love during the summer solstice. You've always got some wacky excuse to avoid sexual contact. It's been weeks since we committed the act. Come on, having sex with you is like using a salamander for a tampon. Believe me, my penis has been compared to worse things than an amphibian. Anyway, I'm not in the mood. All my favorite knives are in the dishwasher. That's another thing. Why does sexual intimacy for you involve slicing off small portions of my body? How else am I supposed to enjoy it? How did these other guys you were involved with put up with this craziness? They must have been recently released from the severe head injury ward. Oh, I can assure you, my former lovers were very passionate and experts at pleasing a woman. You see, this is exactly what I was talking about. It's like the missing link between mongoloid and troglodyte. Oh, Billy Bob was the most advanced lover I've ever encountered. There's so much you could learn from him. Yeah, like the proper method for drooling down your own shirt. He was a true renaissance man, a writer, an actor, a musician, a real philosopher. Just listen. Some folks call it a sling blade. I calls it a Kaiser blade. Mm -hmm. Oh, Billy Bob, you're so fascinating. Well, I've got a great idea. Why don't you get a tattoo of my face and put it on your scrotum sack? I reckon that's as good a place as any. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever I get a new tattoo, I like to put it on the most sensitive part of my body. <laughs> You're a funny girl, Angelina. Not funny, haha. -ha. More funny batshit crazy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's adopt a Cambodian baby and give it a mohawk. I reckon this is what you call a mutually self-destructive relationship. Mm -hmm. Now who's this clown? That's my brother, Jamie. He's both 
highly sensitive and highly sensual. What's he doing with that vibrator? We're exploring Jolie style. Great, my sister wouldn't even let me cap a feel. Oh, come on, you can't tell me you've never explored beyond the incest. Taboo. I'm not allowed by law to answer that question. It takes a Jolie to fully understand how to make love to another Jolie. <laughs> right. I've seen enough. Let's get going. I've, I've got a romantic weekend in the Hamptons planned. This was a terrible idea. Just pick it up and put it in the boiling water. It's too horrible. I don't want to be the close Barbie of crustaceans. It's just a lobster. But well, what if reincarnation is true? This shellfish could have been Churchill or Rembrandt or Louis Armstrong. Of course, if it was Mia Farrow, I'd consider it. Just pick it up, you neurotic little freak. I don't think I need to point out how hypocritical that statement was. Let's just set it free. Uh, how would you like to be put in the boiling water? <laughs> Wrong question to ask a masochist. Get out of my way, you pathetic little eunuch. <laughs> This what you're afraid of, just because it has razor sharp claws that can slice your face into an unrecognizable, deformed mess. <laughs> this is highly uncalled for. You're giving me a severe case of seafood anxiety. My, my analyst says I should avoid all confrontations with sociopaths brandishing invertebrates. Max, my relationship with Angelina is in real trouble. Well, how's the sex, Max? How's the sex, Max? It's dangerous. It's, it's the erotic equivalent to the crystal knocked. Well, if you're having sex, how bad can the relationship be? Well, I'm sure the praying mantis enjoys the sex right up until its head gets bitten off. Plus, I think she's an anti-Semite. You think everyone's an anti-Semite, Max? You know how some girls dot their eyes with a little heart? She uses a swastika. Oh, forget her, Max. She's no good for you. We're gonna go to Greenwich Village. We're gonna pick up some stewardesses. All right. Does South Korea have an airlines? <laughs> well, Angeline and I eventually grew apart. I wanted to move to the Upper East Side, and she wanted to cut off my testicles and make them into jewelry. You know, Angelina was a, a total lunatic who tried to mutilate me on a daily basis. But, but I kind of miss her. I guess it's like the old George S. Kaufman joke. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Angelina Jolie, holy fuck, run for your life, she'll try to cut off your balls.